Right, and here we are. Um, hello, everybody. I've been joined by Loki. You decided this is afternoon cuddle time. Yeah, so me and Loki today are going to be playing <laughs> Underwater Cities. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining in. We've got a few people in the chat. Christine's here, Nick's here, Jason's here. Um, Albin's here. Right, Al Albin Ork Albertson. Thank you very much for joining in. So, um, yeah, hello and welcome. This is a solo playthrough of Underwater Cities. I'm going to be using the expansion, but you don't actually use that much of the expansion when you're playing the solo game. The new ex the expansion for it, New Discoveries, comes with uh, a whole host of other bits and modules that you can add in, like the museum module and things like that. But when you're playing the solo game, you don't do that. Just let me know if the sound is working fine. I have had some technical issues this morning. Oh, Philip's here as well, and Alan's here. Excellent. Uh, yes, we should be live, he says. Let's just check the microphone is switched on. Yeah, microphone should be on, so we should be good. Um, yeah, I've had been having some issues this morning, not with the live streaming. The live streaming has been working fine. But um, a plugin which I installed on Tuesday in order to get the live Q&A working seems to have knocked out my Premiere Pro settings, so I can't actually do any video editing. And I haven't done any video editing since Tuesday because it's all been live streams, Monday even. Um, so I need to get that fixed. Anyway, so yeah, that's why I'm slightly delayed and slightly not set up ready in time. So we're transmitting on YouTube and Facebook. Again, thank you everybody for watching, um, for joining in with the chat. Uh, and hello to everybody who's watching afterwards. Um, this video is basically funded through my Patreon campaign. I've taken time off work this afternoon in order to produce this content. Um, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for making it possible. And if you like the videos that I make, then please consider supporting me on Patreon because it's only that support that makes these videos possible. And each month I do a vote on which solo game I'm going to be playing. And this is the game that my Patreon supporters voted on that I would do a solo playthrough of this month, which I'm actually very happy about because this was one of my top games of 2018. If you want to know my other favourite games from 2018, the video is on my channel. It went live about a month ago where I cover my top games from 2018. This is one of them. Um, right, okay, so I've not really done the setup yet, but, and this isn't going to be a tutorial video, this is just going to be a playthrough video. So let's switch to the overhead cameras, or the overhead camera. There we go. So we got, we got the board set up, we've got the one and two player board. Um, the bottom box, by the way, you see the chat box for YouTube, the bit below that is the Facebook chat. So if anybody's watching this live on Facebook, please pop a message in the chat uh, just to let me know that that is working, because it should do. Uh, Nilsson's here as well. Hi, Nilsson. Thank you for joining in. So there's four player boards that you can use with the solo game. I have chosen at random player board 16, um, and I've not really used these fancy player boards before. So there's these red... Mo this is like an advanced one. So if you've only played the base game, there's some bits on this which you may not have seen before. There's these red bordered sections, which basically means there, there is an additional cost uh, to build on there. Um, and then there's these white boxes, which means if you have built on there, you get a production bonus. So I'm just going to change the colour a little bit because it looks a little bit... looks a, bit, a little bit dark and it looks a bit... Yeah, OK, I think that's better. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's a bit better colour-wise, I think. Um, so yeah, now, the other thing the expansion adds is a quick start rules. So you actually play one round less. So instead of ten rounds, you start on round two. Um, and what happens at the start of the game is you're going to get uh, one of two new advisors. There are new advisors that you get, pers sorry, personal assistants, and one of two resources that are quick start cards. And, but that is done after you've drawn your initial cards. Now, I've got a lot of the stuff off screen, as you can, as you can not see, because I'm, I'm trying to keep the play area clear. And I'm trying to keep as much stuff off screen as I can. So off screen is a complete mess, um, which you can actually see on the, on the little window there. Um, okay, so there is Facebook chat, but it's not coming through. Thank you very much for letting me know, Jason. Uh, again, I don't know why. But occasionally, the, the software just sort of breaks. And I'm just going to authorise it again. Authorise to use Facebook. Uh, there you go. Source. Let's change that. So it could be that I have accidentally made the window 
smaller than it should be, but no, there is there is the window and nothing is coming through. So yeah, there's not much I can do about this. Uh, unfortunately, if you are watching it on Facebook, the chat is not coming through. Um, you can see that there is a window there. Oh, there we go. Preston is here. Excellent. Right, okay, so the chat is working. Right, we have Facebook chat as well. Fantastic. Right, so, uh, and I'm a little bit rusty on the rules. Again, this is not a sponsored video. This is purely funded through the Patreon campaign. And if I hadn't have had these technical issues with Premiere this morning, I would have been able to do a little bit more prep with this game. But if I get anything wrong, um, if I get any of the rules wrong, please let me know. I've not played this for a while. Uh, in fact, since, since the last playthrough video we did using the expansion. So you start with six of these cards, two, three, four, five, six. And after you've chosen which three cards, no, not after you've chosen because you don't discard till the end of your turn. You see the six cards. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're gonna choose two assistants and two starting resources at, uh, at random and then get one of each. Right, and the objective is I've got to score 125 points and have seven connected cities. Now you do start the game with one city, so let's pop that in there. That's my starting city. Um, yeah, starting resource tiles. So where is it? Two personal assistants. I'm sure I read it somewhere. It is, yeah, after receiving your hand of six cards, but before discarding down to three. Okay, so let's have a look at the six cards that I've got. I should be able to put them on here. One, two, three, four five six and again if you've got any suggestions feel free to to chime in um so i don't have to choose which ones i'm discarding yet but at the start of my first turn i will have to choose which one i'm which ones i'm keeping um and I, i've got the new ones mixed in here so yeah there is a there is a mixture of new ones in here so we have the negotiating team which is permanently whenever you use the always available action slot which is this one you don't really use that much you get to play the effect of the card you've discarded. Okay, so that's quite good. That is quite good, actually, because normally you discard a card, get two cards and get two money. If this is in play, then whenever I use that slot, I get to do the effect of the card that I've discarded. Ah, so that's actually quite good. Right. Duplication systems test. If you have at least two steel plus, when you play this card, if you've got at least two steel plus, get a steel plus. This Pay a steel pass to do a job, build a laboratory, construction windfall. If you have at least three tunnels adjacent to connected cities, you can build a farm for free. So that's an immediate, but right, these are all immediate bonuses apart from this one. So I've never played with the negotiation team before. It is an expan it is one from the expansion. You can tell that for two reasons. One, there's an expansion symbol in the bottom corner, and the colours are, in fact, these are all expansion cards. I obviously didn't shuffle very well. Well, I thought I did. And the last time we played it, we shuffled them all in. Okay, so I've got completely all new cards. These are all expansion cards. I'm gonna shuffle these a bit more. Have I definitely got, yeah, there's definitely old cards in here. Okay, well, there we go. So I've got completely six new cards. Um, is the always available space used in a solo game? He's gonna go and check the rules. Good point. If not, I need to take out some cards. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen it. I mean, I did read the solo rules this morning and there isn't much to them. Um, take back your action tiles. Yeah, you just block off certain areas so it doesn't seem that there isn't. I know it's different in a four-player game. In a four-player game, there is this on there. But in a two-player, I think that's right. Yeah, in a four-player game, you put that on there, and there is a, there's an extra space. So, yeah. Um, now, the other thing, there's a couple of questions on BGG which haven't been answered officially. Um, and the first one is that in a solo game, what you do is you actually place three of these tokens, um, like the workers belonging to other players, and you block off certain areas. Take three tiles in a non-player colour and place them in the rightmost action slot. So the first slot, if you move around, the, so basically that, that, and that are already blocked off. And then what's going to happen at the end of the round is they're going to move clockwise. And one of the questions is, because we're starting on round two, do they start on the second space? And it's not clear. 
Um, and there hasn't been an official answer yet. So I'm not sure which to use. I'm tempted just to leave them as they are because it is effectively the first round of the game, even though we've started on round two. Yeah. So I'm probably going to leave them there. Um, the other question was whether, because I'm using player board 16, you use these boards when you're choosing the Metropolis Choice variant, but it isn't clear whether you should use that or not. And I, I'm going to use that. Um, anyway, right, so we've got our cards. We're not discarding down yet. I get two of these resource tiles. This is basically the quick start rules. So I can have either that one or that one. And I can also have... Give these a shuffle. And I get one of those two. Now the assistant, the, so the new assistants that come with the expansion are basically really good, they're better. So production manager, who looks like a, an octopus or a squid or something. During production, every connected city with three different buildings produces an extra steel plast and a point. Okay, and I always like to try and have all three types of buildings in my cities because that's worth lots of points at the end of the game or whenever you build a city you have a discount of one credit or one steel plast nice very nice ah so that's actually got an action ability and also a permanent ability this has got an action ability and uh, a production ability i quite like the architect making my cities cheaper to build so that's the one i'm going to go with we don't want the the squiddy squid We'll go with that one. And which of these do I want to start with? Um, well, oh, okay. So that's a double upgraded lab. Now, what does a double upgraded lab get? Let's get the player aid. Oh. We have... So the double upgraded lab gets steel plast, and steel plast is going to be used for building cities. Ooh. That could be quite good. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. So that is my starting resources. So instead of the normal starting resources, I get this. So I get steel plast, a kelp, um, some sciencey stuff, and four credits. One, two, three, four. Right, so that's what I start with. And I start with an upgraded laboratory in there think that's right yeah right so that goes uh charlie's here in the chat thank you for joining in charlie let's see how well i do do love this game right so we've got our we've got our six starting cards um so these are in my hand now that you've seen them i'm actually going to i'll tell you what we have space I move the rules over there we have space to put my hand here. So this is my hand of cards and then the actual cards that I play will be in this area here. That will work. Let's make me a little bit smaller. There you go. Make me a bit smaller. I'll just try to cover up the uh, the, the mess <laughs> on the left hand side of the, uh, the board. Move that down a bit. And then move that down a bit. There we go. Right. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to put my cards that I've got here, and I'm going to put, so these ones here are the cards that are in my hand. Right, starting Metropolises, I get four blue and two green, and I'm going to choose, uh, and this was discussed on BGG, as to whether you should cho choose or you should just get them at random, um, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to choose. So the green ones are the new ones that are introduced with the expansion, so there are three different colours. And player board 16 only uses the green ones and the blue ones. I think that's all of them. Doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be any more over here. So unless I've lost some, right? So I'm going to choose uh, one, two, three, four of those, two of those, and then out of those, get rid of those. I choose which ones I want. So. Gosh. Now, the green one's going to go over there, and he's actually quite... Well, it's a long way away, and it's hard to build to. The, these two blue ones on this player board, if I build them, and they are hard to build, but if I do, their production is doubled. So I kind of want to go with ones that give me production. 
Um, so not that one. Let's disregard that one. So it's which one of these three? Uh, well, food's always useful. So let's take that one. I'm going to pop that one in there. And let's take that one and pop that one in there. Okay. Now, as far as the green ones go, um, I'm not sure what that one does. Let's have a look. So that green one is immediately score three points uh, and your hand limit is increased. Ah, okay, that's quite useful. But I think I'm going to go with the other one. And that goes in there. Right, okay. Uh, yes, new player boards. Yeah, the new player boards are really good. Um, yeah, they, they, they sit in quite nicely. So, right, okay. I think we are ready to start. I just need to remind myself how the turn order works in the solo game. Um, I think I go first. Play your round as normal. At the end of each round, you take back your action tiles and move all non-player action tiles one space clockwise. That's it. So if I don't advance on the Federation track, then what happens is <clears throat> instead of three of the action spaces being blocked out next turn, a fourth one is. And that represents that the other player has gone first, I guess. So, yeah. Right, so I've got to get seven connected cities and 125 points. And you don't use the government contracts in the, in the solo game. Because uh, obviously you would, be, you would be the first player uh, to get them. Oh, the immediate bonus of the metropolises are doubled. Oh, right, sorry, yes, I can see now the icon. Oh, well, I disregarded that one. <laughs> Thank you. It doubles the immediate bonus and the production bonus. Right, anyway, so I've chosen them, I've chosen that. What's this doing here? Who knows? Throw that one away. And we are ready to start. So, basically, three actions each round, nine rounds in the game. I want to do as much as I can before the next production. Um, because, yeah, you produce here, here, and here. Um, cities are cheaper for me to build. I need to build seven of them. Somebody on the Solo Board Games Guild told me that the, the U-shaped formation is the easiest one to do. And that will link my metropolises. But this one in the middle, if I do that, that's going to get me lots of stuff. So we shall see. We shall see. What are we going to do? Well, I just need to refresh myself of the different actions. I, so, oh, start of my turn. I have to discard down to three, don't I? Um, so I'm going to keep that one and I want to play that one as soon as possible. Now, how do you play a card? I can't even remember how you play a card in this game. How do I put this card into play? Is it these? Or is it those? Oh, I need to set this up as well. Sorry. Um, special cards. Right, special cards. So the special cards that are costing one and two, they go here. And then the special cards that cost three, we give them a shuffle. And we get six of them. And these are basically... Um, big point games that you can get at the end of the game is is what they are and i want to probably aim for trying to do one of them so that one's quite nice because it's simply two points for every purpley red city that i've got um three points for each connected city that has at least one building of each type which is kind of what i want to do anyway um points for each of your end game scoring cards points for tunnels if you have the most upgraded tunnels adjacent. Now, do I still use those? Because it's, it's most. And obviously in a solo game, I will, I will have the most. Yeah. Play into a space and play a card. Oh, that's it. Of course. Yeah, you play a card every action. <laughs> I knew it would come back to me. Um, so if I want to get this card in play early... I want to be using a green space. Now, can I build a city straight away? Um, so the cost to build one of the fancy cities, I've got the credits, I've got that. It, yeah, I don't have the um, the bio stuff. And how do you get the bio stuff is you build one of the desalin uh, an upgraded desalination plant. Uh, there's no way to get that stuff on the board, is there? I don't think there is. 
Yeah, the biomatter. I don't think there is a way on the board of getting the biomatter. So I know there's a few cards that will give it, um, but it looks like just building an upgraded desalination plant is the way to get biomatter. So could I actually build an actual city? I could. I could build a normal city because of my architect. My architect is whenever you build a city, you get a discount of one credit or one steel plast. So I could do that. So I think let's let's do that. Now, the city won't do anything because I haven't built a tunnel. Uh, and you need to build a tunnel next to the city for it to actually do anything. Um, but yeah, I think let's do that. So I'm going to go on this space here and I'm going to build a city. So the normal cost of building a city is two steel plaster kelp and a credit. I've got the architect, so I get a discount of one. Uh, and the problem is I'm going to be out of food fairly soon. Right, so that goes there. I take a city. I believe I can put it there. From what I remember about the rules, even though I'm not connected to it, that is somewhere where I can build it. Let me just double check the city building rules. Um, yes. Pay the usual cost. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So yeah, I've done it right. I, I, it looks like I have built it legally. Can't remember exactly why, but yeah, your city isn't connected to the network yet, but you can actually can actually build there. Right, okay, so that, that was my first action. And I'm playing this green card. And because I played a green card, and it's a green action space, um, then you actually get to do the card as well. But in this case, there isn't actually... Oh, I should have discarded down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking one step ahead of myself. Um, and keep that. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Uh, I probably want cards of different colour. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're the three I'm going to keep. So they're the three that I would have discarded. So that is now the two cards in my hand. So that's the thing. If if you play a card that matches the colour, then you also get to perform the card's effect. But the card's effect on this is just a whenever card. Tunnels must be built connected, but nothing else has to be. Yeah. Oh, Tim's here in the chat as well. Thank you very much, Tim. I'm just refreshing myself of a couple of rules. So apologies for those experts of the game that are shouting at the screen going, why doesn't he know the game? I got a lot of games in my head at the moment. I've been working on three rule books this week and I've got three live streams today. Um, so yeah, let's just refresh myself of this. I've played a card, it matched the color, but the question is, did I need to match the color? Because it's got a whenever ability. So my thinking is that if I didn't match the color, I'd put the card in and then discard it. I, I think I have to play the color in order for the card to go into play. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Right, it's my go again. So the thing with this game is that you just keep taking turns. The AI player, there isn't really one. It just blocks certain spaces that you then can't do. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not, there, there isn't a bot for the other player in the game, for example. Right, we have money. We don't have very much else and I need to be building kelp farms, but the only way to build a kelp farm is to spend food. To spend the kelp and I don't have the kelp. Oh, and I'm supposed to draw a card. Draw a card at the end of... I'm going to put these cards in play actually. Where are the number one cards? There's the deck. So I draw a card and it's green. Ah, now that's quite nice. Because I've got this and I can be using this now because of my uh, because of my negotiation team. So the colour match means it goes to your tableau. Yeah, thank you very much. It did come back to me in the end. The card doesn't match, you discard it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, so, that will get me a kelp. If I was to discard a card here, I get two credits and I get to do the ability of the card, which could be smuggling. I could smuggle in some steel plast and a card. But I'm all right for steel plast. The problem I'm going to have is kelp, because you need to pay for each of your cities. Each of your cities that you've got that's connected, I believe it's got to be connected. 
I don't think you have to pay for it if it's not connected. That would be bad. Things that are not produced, end of the round, end of the turn. Feeding cities. Each city in your network must be fed. Yeah. Well, it's not in my network, is it? Um, so I think we just need... Yeah. Now, I'm going to be playing these cards and they're not actually going to help me. That's a shame with these... Um, with these immediate ones. I, mean, I could get two positions on there, but all that's going to do is get me a credit, and I don't need the credit. That's down here, which is quite good. I don't have an orange card, but that is the space that I need. Yeah, that, that is the space that I need. So I'm just going to have to play a card which doesn't match, so I'm going to discard it. I'm going to choose that space there. So that gets me to do... a. Uh, and, and basically use one of my A cards, and I, and I have that, but just hang fire on that for a minute because I'm going to do those first. So I get to take two resources that are not the same. So I'm going to take a kelp, and I'm going to take um, a steel plast. Okay, and then I'm going to choose my A ability, and the A ability is going to be my architect. So you tap the card to build a kelp farm. So that costs me the kelp, and I build a kelp farm. So I could build it here. I'm allowed to do that. And in fact, I think I'm also allowed to do that. But I'm not going to, because then they wouldn't work. So that's going to go on there. There you go. I think that's right. I think that is right. I've done all of that. I've done all of that. And the card was discarded. And I get a new card. And it's green. Right. So I've built my kelp farm. That's going to provide me with one food. Um, and that's going to then feed that city. So that's okay. Now I kind of want to build a tunnel, but if I build a tunnel to this city, I'm going to need food for that city as well. And I don't have the food for that city. So I could build some tunnels off in different directions, or we could do something else. Um, we could go a smuggling. Let's go a smuggling. So do I want to go on this space? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go in this space using this card. So I'm going to use this smuggling card to go into this space. So the smuggling card is spend a credit to get two steel plast and a card. So that's that done. And then the ability of the action space is to build two desalination plants. Desalination plants cost a credit each. I happen to have two credits. So I get a desalination plant there and one there. Oh, there you go. So already I've got all three different types of buildings in here. Um, okay. And then at the end of my turn, I get to draw a card. And I think that's it. I think that is it for round one. It says 40 minutes per player, but I think with me chatting, it's probably going to be more, more like an hour. So we move on to round two. Sorry, yeah, that was round two. We move on to round three. I take my action markers. These all move one clockwise round. And then because I didn't move up on the Federation track, we draw a card from here. We add the two numbers together, which is 46. So that gives us zero or 10. <laughs> that gives us 10. And then we count. Flip over the top card of the deck, add its digits together to get a number 10. Starting with the first green slot as action 1. Count clockwise until you get to that number. Place the new action tile on that slot. If it is empty, otherwise move to the next one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Already occupied, so we're going to block off that one instead. So basically, yeah, that's, that's it. That's how the... Yeah, if you don't advance up here, another action is blocked off. I think that's right. Okay, so first action, and this, this doesn't refresh until production. So we're off again. Now, I have cards of all three different colours now. We've got the kelp farm. I'd still like to build another one, but that's that's gone now. That's available. 
except I don't have any other A abilities. Um, that's build a city and something in it. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, this this is good if you have at least two steel plus. Oh, I've got to discard down. But before I discard down, let's decide which one I'm going to keep. So this is get rid of kelp for money. Well, I don't have any money, but I don't have any kelp. And I kind of need the kelp. Yeah, kind of need the kelp. What's the cost to build a, a tunnel? If I can build tunnels. No, I can't. The tunnel building space. Oh, there's one there. There's a tunnel building space there. Cost to build a tunnel is a steel plast and a credit. Okay. Uh, let's have a think. So yeah, I kind of want to play this. Haven't got the money though to do that. What about building two more kelp farms? Well, I don't have the kelp. I seem very short on resources. So maybe I should use that again to get some kelp. And just miss out the fact that it's got an A on it. Uh, but my orange card is smuggling, which is yeah, no good. I'm going to get another go after this. I just, I, I, oh. I, I'm thinking I want to use this card, but mm. right answers on a postcard. Um, should the top card of this deck be face up? I think it should. I think that should be face up. Okay, probably not going to go with that one. I do like the artwork in this game as well, and I like the fact that every card is unique. That's pretty cool. Um, right. What am I going to do? Which action am I going to do? And how am I going to do it? I'm not going to use that yet. I'm going to keep that until I've got a, an extra desalination plant connected. I probably want to play this because I can actually do something with that. And I probably don't want that. So that's the card I'm going to get rid of at the start of my turn. Right. So on my actual turn, I am going to go here. And I'm going to play a red card, which is this which is the duplication system says, if you have at least two steel plast, which I do, gain a steel plast and a card. Okay. And then I get to do the ability of this space. Now with this space, this special space, I can buy one of these, but I don't have the money. No, no, you can take it. It costs you money to play it. That's it. I can take one of these into my hand, or I could take that into my hand, or it's something like I can put that to the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, where have I read that? I've read that somewhere. Oddly enough, it's not in the rules on special cards, which seems a bit odd. Here we go. Take one of the three credit special cards, yeah, or take the top card from the deck, or turn the top card face down, put it to the bottom, yeah, so I don't want this one. So I'm going to take that one, put it to the bottom, look at the next three, choose one of them, um, put the other two on the bottom of the deck in order. So we have an action card, which is quite nice. We have that. Islands. Now, I do like islands because they produce stuff. Look at that island there. Look how nice that is. That looks like the one from Lost. Um... But having another action card would actually be quite nice so that I can start using more than one A space. Oh, this is tricky. I'm going to take that one. So that goes into my hand. Those two go on the bottom of the deck. I think I'm catching up with the chat which says I needed to have discarded a card first, but I think I did. Um, yeah, we've got a 20-odd second delay in the chat, so if I'm not listening to you, it's because 
I'm not seeing it until 20 seconds after I've done it. I think that's it. I think that is it. Yes, that is it. Right. Next action, I need to discard down. I know that. But before I discard down, I haven't got the credits. Need the credits. Can I not sell a steel plast? <laughs> that's get a credit. Let's get a credit. Move up on the, fe the, the Federation track. Okay, so that's no good. I want to put this into play. I really want to put this into play, but I don't have any money. Ah, I can do that. This space that I never normally use in a game. But actually, because of this, whenever you use the action slot, you may play the effect of the card that you've just discarded. So I think this is going to work. I think I can do that. Let's just check that anytime space because as I said, I don't use it. Um, always available even if another player has always used it it allows you to gain two credits and two cards I don't know where it says you have to discard it but that's what that's what you do you discard it so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use this space turn up the top card of the S deck oh yes thank you uh, am I interested in that one? Possibly. Right. So I'm going to use this space. So I'm going to discard this card to draw two cards and get two credits. Oh, I have to discard first. Let's discard. Oh, let's discard that one. Yeah, right. So I'll draw two cards and get two credits. And then I think I can now activate the negotiation team and use this card, which cost me a credit, and put it into play. Yeah, I think that's right. We'll say that's right. If I'm cheating, nobody's watching, apart from you lot. Um, right, so that's that done. Start of my next turn. Got to throw a card away. Aha! Uh -huh. Could upgrade one of my structures. Oh, that's an A card. I need to do an action. I need to do an A action. So it's going to be... I'm going to discard that. Um, I am going to play... Ooh, now, is this going to work? I think this might. Yeah, it's either that and that, or that. Hmm. I'm I want to use an A action, because I want to use this. So it's either there or there. That one's going to get me to build a tunnel. Yeah, this will work, I think. So I'm going to play this card on that space. Right, now, what order do we want to do these things in? I think from what I remember, and tell me in the chat if I've got this right, um, you either do the card or the action first but I can't do that bit then the card then that bit I think that's right let's just check the cat bottom of the page it has no color so when you choose it you ignore the effect of the card you play ah right okay but in this case because I've got the negotiation team I can do it so I think that's right I, I think I have to do all of the card first and then the action, or all of the action, and then the card. Um, but as it is, I'm going to be doing, I don't think it matters in this case, I'm going to be doing that first. So I'm going to use this action to take two credits, and a card, and a kelp. Build a tunnel, which cost me a credit and a steel plast. Oh, and it also cost me a science because I am building it on the space with the red board. Uh, the space. Oh, no, no, that's not spend it. That's get it. If the red board means you have to spend it. Is it? So what's the difference? Hmm. 
Just need to check this. Complete the card or the space fully and then enforce the other. Thank you. Um, I'm just, see, I've not played with these red borders before. I know I should have done, but I'm so often teaching the game to new people. Um, so where are the rules for that? I thought those red borders means that's something you have to pay because they were in the base game, weren't they? I'm sure they were in the base game. Surcharges. Some sites have surcharges. Uh, a surcharge is applied after discounts. For example, if an effect allows you to build for free, you still pay the surcharge. Whenever you build a tunnel, you must pay a surcharge. Yeah, so it is a surcharge. Is this a printing error then? Should that have red lines around it? Red border means spends extra. Non-red border reward. Okay, right. So there we go. I was expecting to have to build. I mean, it kind of makes sense because there's no benefit to building here, whereas all of the other ones with the red border, there's a benefit. So thank you very much for the help in the chat. That goes there and I get a reward. I found a flask of blue liquid. Um, so that's that. That's that bit done. Then I do the card, which is you may pay one science or one steel plast to upgrade one of your desalination plants. I'll pay a steel plast. <laughs> do I want to? How am I getting more steel plast? I am getting an extra one steel plast. How am I getting science? I'm getting science from that. Uh, I think I'm going to take the steel plast and I'm going to upgrade one of your desalination plants. So I'm going to upgrade this one. Doesn't really matter because it's connected now. Okay, so that's that done. And then that's the end of my turn. And then I, so I draw a card. Oh, nice. Federal Land Grant. Okay, so these come back. I think I'm doing it right. Space Lord of 75 is here. Excellent, thank you very much. And yes, Underwater City is a, a good place to be quarantined. Yeah, I'm staying at home. Um, so I've taken those back. That moves up. These all move round one. And then because I didn't go up on the Federation track, I lose action space. Oh gosh, what have we got? Two, two, three. Need better glasses. Two, two, three. So add them together. That's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's full. So we go on to the next one. Right. So this is round four. This is the last round before production. Uh, and I just need to make sure that I am ready for production. I am going to be able to feed my cities because that kelp farm is going to produce one. So that's okay. Um, now, obviously, if I can get some more production down, that would be great. Let's see what we can do because I have some science. I could build another kelp farm. I could build all sorts of stuff. What is available? I could build two desalination plants, except they wouldn't do anything because I'm not there. I could do an upgrade. Could upgrade the kelp farm. What does it cost to upgrade a kelp farm? Uh, it's the same cost again, isn't it? To upgrade. No, it's a science to upgrade. That's it. You spend science to upgrade. Um, right. Let's have a think. Let's have a think. Let's check the chat. Uh, yeah, they printed the numbers on the on the cards very tiny. I guess so as not to interfere with gameplay. Um, but obviously in this solo game, you actually need to read them. So it does make it a little bit harder. Um, okay, what are we going to do? Are we going to bother moving up the Federation track? I kind of don't want to. I mean, it's really important in a multiplayer game because turn order, yeah, but not too keen on that space. Um, orange spaces are nice, like orange spaces. And I can do a rush job to build a desalination plant if I need to. And I can spend some science to do some upgrades. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Right, I'm gonna use that action space there and I'm gonna play rush job. I'll do the card first, build a desalination plant at the usual cost, which is one credit. Uh, this desalination plant is going to go here. Where I 
I'm not going to make use of it at the moment, uh, but that's fine. Oh, I needed to discard down. Um, Oh, I just noticed this card. I like this card. Hmm. Okay, right, change of plan. That's the card that's going to get discarded. So I get my credit back. I'm not building the desalination plant. Undo, rewind, Scooby-Doo moment. And instead I'm playing this one. So that goes into play. Come here. Come on, nails. Right. I'll overlap them. Hopefully we remember what we do. Uh, build cost is same colour of building. Yes. Upgrade cost is science. Got it. Remembered in the end. Right. So now I can either take two science or I can spend up to three science to upgrade up to three buildings. So I'm going to spend two science and we're going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade this other desalination plant here. And we're going to upgrade this tunnel because that will generate points. And I need 125 points in order to win the solo game. There we go. They are my three actions done. I draw a card at the end of my turn. And now let's get my markers back. Have I done three? No, I haven't done three. What am I on about? I've already done one. <laughs> Leave them there, Paul. Right, so second action of round four. I was getting way ahead of myself then. I'm all right for kelp. I could build another kelp farm if I wanted to. Where's the place to build kelp farms? Oh, there. Now that's orange as well. And I have an orange card. Oh, and that actually does something. Oh, okay, maybe I will. Or maybe I'll do the federal grant. What's this? Eh, that's not very good. And that's not very good. Unless I do, uh, unless I start, oh, hang up. I haven't turned the sound off. Let's just turn the sound off on my computer. So that otherwise, yeah, I don't know why it's coming out of the monitor. It shouldn't be. It should be coming out of my headphones. And that's weird. Everything resets on the, um, all the chat windows reset when I just unplug the microphone. I don't know why it does that. Yeah, I've been playing around with the sound this morning, so um, yeah, apologies for that. We seem to have got a few sound glitches. Right, where was I up to? Where was I up to? I was doing stuff, wasn't I? I was thinking of doing that, and I was thinking of doing that. And I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to choose this action with this card. And I'll do the card first, which is just get a credit and a steel plast. Remember, you don't have to match colours, and I should be looking at both the card and what I actually want to do first. Build two desalination plants, cost of one credit each. And the desalination plants are going, one of them's going there, and one of them's going there. Okay, and then I draw a card. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. I do have a connected upgraded laboratory, so if I play that, I'll get a bonus if I want to play that. We will see. We will see. Um, can't build tunnels because the tunnel space is blocked off. So what do we want to do? I've got one action left this round. I might just do another green action. It's, a, it's, it's such a weak action though, but I think the green cards are slightly better, I think. Can't do that just yet. Can't build a tunnel just yet. No, the tunnel spaces are all gone. I've used both my action cards. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to play... Oh no, I'll go here. I will go on this space. So I move two up on here, which gets me a money, but importantly, I don't lose an action space next round. And I play this card which immediately, because I've got a, a connected upgraded laboratory, I get a steel plaster under science. So 
steel plast, science, draw a card, and now we're done. Now we are end of round. Okay, right. So now we take my action markers back. And let's take this nasty black one back as well, because that's not going to go on. And we do production. So in production, what have I got that produces? Well, during production, one of your connected desalination plants may produce one science or kelp instead of a credit. And the upgraded ones still produce biomatter. So let, let's do my kelp farms first. I have one kelp farm, which is there, so that produces one kelp. Uh, I then have two upgraded desalination plants that are connected. So they're both going to produce a credit each and a biomatter each. But my special ability means that one of them can produce a science or a kelp instead of a credit. So instead of the credit, it's going to produce a kelp. Yeah. OK, and then my laboratories, I have an upgraded, upgraded laboratory, which is one science and one steel plast. Oh, Nomi's here in the chat and your Victorian top hat arrived. Excellent. Excellent. Well, definitely, um, definitely get a picture and pop it on the Slack channel. <laughs> um, I haven't put mine away yet. It's still in the other room. Right. Any other production? Yes, I have a point for my tunnel. Hey, I've got a point. Boom. Uh, a cars refresh. I'm not connected to any metropolises. So, oh, and they also produce a credit if they're connected. Tunnels. Yeah. Now I have to feed. I have two cities, so I have to spend two kelp. Uh, and we're ready to go. So we are on round five. The other players' markers move round one. And yeah, we're ready to go. We're now in the second age. And this is the bit I got wrong the first time I played. I believe deck number one goes. We shuffle deck number two. Um, and I think did you get three cards of it straight away. As I say, I, I forgot this the first couple of times I played. So after production... New cards will come into play as explained on page 16, page 16, see page 3, see page 12. Remove any old era's cards and discard pile from the game. Yes, keep what you've got, shuffle the next one and everybody gets three cards. And then advance the era marker. And then once everyone is discarded down to three cards, you're ready to play the next era with the new deck. Right, okay, yeah, so deck number two comes in. Yeah, so Facebook chat has uh, has wiped. Put your turn marker back down. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. I'm drawing three cards from this deck. And then I have to discard down to three. So we have oranges and yellows. Now we have some cards from the, the second era. I can't remember if they're any better or not. I think they are. Um, I'm drawing some new ones. This guy's cool. Right. If you have at least two connected upgraded desalination plants, I do. So I'm probably going to keep that card. Um, am I bothered about upgrade one of your farms? Yeah, farm upgraded farms are quite good because they produce, they produce points and I'm only on one point at the moment. I'm definitely going to get more by the end of the game. I will. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm tempted to keep that one. I want to keep that one. Definitely, definitely want to keep that one because I'm building up for three desalination plants. Definitely want to build that one. Uh, keep that one. And... Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's go for that. Let's take the... Um... No, let's keep that one. Let's keep that one. Right, so they're the three that I'm getting rid of. Right, okay, so round five. My go. We're ready. 
I've got two greens and an orange. There's an orange one there to build tunnels. And that's probably what I want to do. Because if I'm right in thinking, as soon as I build to this, that links that metropolis. And then it's connected and then I start getting all of the bonuses. Yeah, I think that's right. It just seems that I've got there fairly easy. To connect to a metropolis, you need to build, yeah, various benefits. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we might do that. We might just build up there because I can do that. I can afford that. And then I've got lots of bonuses. Right, let's do that. So I'm going to choose an orange space and I'm going to choose the two, two tunnel orange space with the trial run. I'll do the trial run first because I have two connected upgraded desalination plants. So I get a card and a point, doubling my score. One card, one point. And then the action space is I'm going to spend two credits, two steel plast to build two tunnels. One of them goes on there and the other one is going here, which costs me an extra steel plast. But that, I believe that metropolis is now connected. So let me know if it isn't connected, but I think it is connected. Even though there isn't a city here, I think that is connected through, which basically gets me an immediate bonus of two kelp because it's doubled because of that. And it means I'm going to be generating four points now in the production phase. Ah, should have tried to do that earlier. Three tunnels connect the metropolis regardless of whether you've built the cities in between. Yeah, thought so. Thank you. Uh, right, so that was my first action done. And then I draw a card. Okay. So. I want to keep all these cards. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, that one's going to go at the start of my turn. And I am going to play. So that's interesting. So this metropolis is connected, but this desalination plant isn't because it needs there needs to be a city here for it to be connected. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to choose this space here with this action. First of all, the space. I'm going to build a city um, and I'm going to build one of the fancy ones. And the cost of that is normally a biomatter, a steel plast, a kelp and two credits. But because of my architect, I get a discount. Now, what do I want the discount on? because I was going to take the discount on steel plast, but I'm a little short on money. And it's going to be a while before production. And I don't seem to have any other way of getting money. Now let's get a discount on the steel plast. Let's see what happens. Now I have three cities in play and I have the promo card of Biodome. So I am the first player to have three cities connected to my network. Well, obviously. Uh, so I replace that. With that, basically, that saves me one kelp. There we go, we have a biodome. Right, what we were doing? We're doing that, and then I can pay a credit to upgrade. No, was that the card I was playing? Where's the card I was playing? Here, construction windfall. If you have at least three connected desalination plants, which I do, you may build a tunnel for free. Okay. So where are we gonna build this tunnel? We're going to build it up here, like so. Right. And then I draw a card at the end of the turn. Okay, it's all coming together, I think. Dodgy promo cheat. Yes, dodgy promo cheat. I was the first player to do it in this game. That's what the card says, so I'm having it. One more action left.
Well, I don't have the credit now, but I do have this. And do I want a red action space? I think I do. Do I want a special card? I don't have the money. So there are special cards that I've got my eye on, but I don't have the money to take them. So I'm going to go... Oh, no, I haven't got the money for that. I need the money for that. Grr. I should have should have thought about this more, and I should have should have could have would have um, yeah should have should have got the discount on the money. Oh no, there's an action there. I can. I can do it. I think yes, I can. I'm going to choose the action first, which is this one. I'm going to scavenge the sea floor for two credits. Oh look, what I found two credits. Uh, oh, biomatter harvest card and a kelp. Then I get to build a uh, tunnel, which is one of them and one of them. I've got a tunnel building tastic, which I'm going to build there, which costs a biomatter, which I have, so that's fine. And now I get that immediately. I mean, it doesn't have the production ability on, so I guess I get it immediately which is a kelp, a credit, and three points. One, two, three. Yeah, see the other white boxes here have production things on. That doesn't. So I assume I get that immediately. Surely it should have a lightning bolt on. Yeah, I think that should have a lightning bolt on. That would have made it a bit clearer. So I've done the A, I've done the tunnel, and then I can spend a science to build another tunnel. So yeah, spend a science to build another tunnel which is going to be here, which I can totally do. So let's do it, because the cost of that is a steel plast. There you go. And now the immediate bonus, which is doubled, is I get two steel plast. I get four cards and two credits. Wow. Problem is with all these cards, not too much choice now. But I think that's right. And that was my third action. So the Facebook chat has gone. So if those people are still watching on Facebook, then uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to pop a message on there to make sure it's still working. Because as soon as I closed, as soon as I plugged my microphone in, um, it basically reset all of the windows, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it really doesn't make any sense. Um, here we go. Gaming Rules is live now. I think there's two people watching on Facebook, of which I'm one of them. So, hello. Testing, one, two, three. Is that going to appear? Is it going to appear? Yes, it is. Right, okay, excellent. So, we are moving on to the next round, I believe. I should draw a card at the end of that round. Take my markers back. These all move on, but this time, because I didn't use the Federation space, I lose one of the actions. And it is 227, so what's that? 9, 11. So 11 spaces on from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That one. So that one's been blocked. Right, off we go then. I have to discard down to three. And oh, wow. Well, let's have a look at the actions that I want to do. Um... I need to have seven connected cities to win the game and 125 points. I've got three connected cities at the moment. I could easily build some cities here, but I probably want to build some stuff that's going to get me more production, possibly some kelp farms, um, possibly some more laboratories. And look, that's where you build kelp farms and laboratories. So I want to use that space. So I definitely want to keep a red card. Uh, this is quite nice. Biomatter harvest, just get a free biomatter every production phase. Um, although there is only two more production phases and that production phase is the last round of the game. So I'm not sure because I am, I've got two desalination. I'm probably, I'm probably all right for biomatter. I'm probably okay for biomatter. So I don't think we need that. 
And even though it's a nice card and I like the colours of it. Um, that's basically gain a steel plus. This is gain a steel plus for every two connected desalination plants you've got. That's going to be more. Very soon, that is going to be more. So let's get rid of that one. I need to discard down to three. We've got some nice seafood collection here, which is cards. Um, we have one up on the lobbyist, which yeah, it's an orange space. And science. Could do with science. Science will allow me to start upgrading stuff. But I'm going to get more laboratories and I need steel plast to build the laboratories and there is steel plast. So uh, we're going to be building a city this turn. So I'll probably play that. I probably want to keep that. Oh, pay a science and a steel plast to upgrade two tunnels. I want to keep that as well. Oh, right. I'm going to get rid of that one. Decisions, decisions. Right. Don't need that one. That can go. Starting to be a little bit brutal now. And I think that one can go. But then again, if I don't get another orange card. Am I happy with green cards and red cards this turn? I'm not sure if I am. Hmm. I could have done with another biomatter. Yeah, it's quite hard to get biomatter, isn't it? You can produce it, but then getting it outside of production is actually really tricky. Really tricky. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, right. Start of my go. Where's my action tokens? Got three of them. Here we go. We're going to build a city first. We're going to be building a city and we're going to be paying this. Am I going to have a science and a steel plast? Yes, I am. Right. So the cost of building a normal city, it's going to have to be a normal city, is two steel plast, but I'm going to get a discount of one. A kelp and a credit okay because my architect so that's that done then the card is you can pay a science and a steel plast to upgrade two of your tunnels so i do that it doesn't matter which ones i upgrade because they still count as tunnels uh, that is that done draw a card at the end of my turn okay next action Oh. Yeah, no. So now I've got four connected steel plants. I think we now want to go on here with this card. I'll activate this card first, which gets me two steel plast because I have four connected desalination plants. And then that is there to spend two kelp to build two farms. One's going to go there, one's going to go there. Draw a card. Okay, if you have at least two kelp, gain a kelp. I don't have two kelp. Um, then I'm going to go on a green space again. Oh, what do I do that? Oh, yeah, because I don't really want another green space. I'm just building desalination plants everywhere, but I haven't actually got a city. So let's go on a red space. Let's go on this one with this card. So it's basically two steel plast and a kelp, but then that kelp gives me two kelp and I get a third kelp. So I get two steel plast and two kelp. And then I draw a card. Right. Done. That was round seven. Take the action markers back. Move on to round seven. Preston is still in the Facebook chat. Thank you very much for sticking with us. Let's see how we get on. These move along. I didn't go on the Federation track, so we have to block off a space and it is space, what's that, 82? So that's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, so it's that one. 
no tunnel building again. Good job I built them earlier on. Right, we have, this is the last round before production. So we're looking okay. I'm happy with my kelp. I'm happy with my points that I think I've got coming in. I don't have much in the way of science. And I need to be building some more labo uh, labobs, laboratories. But laboratories cost steel plast. Um, so I probably want to use this space this turn and build, build two more labs. Because I'm thinking end game points. I mean, how are we doing? We've got three rounds left after this. And I need to build three more cities in order to be in with a chance of winning. You have to have built seven. Am I going to bother building to this green one here? What is it going to get me? Two points in production. I mean, I'd need to build three tunnels this round to get there. And that's not going to happen. So I might just not bother with that green one. Um, okay. Right. Ooh. I mean, I, uh, I could pay two credits to build two tunnels. I could do it, but I'd need I'd need lots of money. And I don't have the lots of money, but I'd have this card, which is... Oh, that's interesting. This, this card doesn't have any text on it. I thought all cards had text on it. It's basically spend a science to get two cards and three money. That's huge. But I don't have a science. I could get a science from my architect, but I need to play an A card. Where do I play an A card? Down there, which is orange, and I don't have an orange card. I still could do it. I think we're going to build the two labs. Because that's going to give me two science, which is going to allow me to start doing some more grading, uh, which I could actually do the upgrading this turn, although the, 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 the cool upgradey space is gone. There is a little upgradey space here, but it's not very good. Hmm. And is this any good? You may build up to two buildings on expansion sites for free. Okay. I should be looking at these end game ones because I think they're going to get me points. So this is two points for every upgraded desalination plant that I have at the end of the game. It all depends how I'm going to get close because I've never played the solo game before. I don't know what my points are going to be like at the end. As, I mean, I'm currently on five and I need another 120 points. And every city that you have connected... Um, where's the there is a scoring card somewhere that tells you how many points you get at the end of the game for various things where have I put them I put, I put them safe somewhere oh, here it's here yeah so it's a city that has everything in it is worth six points at the end of the game so yeah yeah I'm gonna have to get these extra points from somewhere uh, oh, Tommy had to disappear and do some work. Did you miss anything exciting? No, just me deliberating over how, how I'm going to get another 120 points somehow. I'm going to be getting quite a few in the production phase, and this one's worth two at the end of the game. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll just play, and I'm, I'm debating how much I need to get one of these, is what I'm thinking about. So I'm going to go on... Yeah, I'm going to build another city. So let's go here with this card. I'm going to build another city, get a discount of a steel plast, although I have a lot of steel plast. Uh, so it's normally two, so it's a discount of one. So one of them, one of them, one of them, for one of them. Pop it there. Doesn't actually matter at this stage. Oh, it does. If I pop it there, I have to feed it. And I don't want to feed it at the moment because it's not going to do anything for me so actually if i go there it means i don't have to feed it this time although it does mean that that tunnel is not paying credits because tunnels only pay credits if they're connected to a city oh forget it i'll just i'll just go in there there you go right so we built the city then the card is pay a credit to upgrade one of your farms pay a credit 
upgrade one of my farms. Let's upgrade this one. Why not? Okay, there we go. What's that done? Draw a card. Ooh, pay a credit and a science to turn a non-symbiotic city into a symbiotic city. I'm totally doing that. That's basically two points. Yeah, very nice. If only I had the money. All the science. Neither of which I have. Oh, right. I have another action available to me. Do I want to build another tunnel? Yeah. All right for tunnels, I think, at the moment. I think I want to choose this space here. And I'm going to use this red card, but I'm actually not going to use the ability of it. Because I kind of want to keep these two. So, yeah. So I'm just going to spend two steel plast uh, to build two labs. We'll put one there and we'll put one there. So I have three cities now that have all three in there. Which will be good for the end of the game. Okay, I get a card. Construction windfall if you have at least four connected farms. I've got three. Not quite four. Okay, so I've got all green cards. Do I want to go on a green space? Or do I want to go on this space to get some money? Because then I still get to do the card. But I don't have the science. Rats. Yeah, okay. Let's go down here. Let's, let's, let's go down here. I'm going to use a card, but it colour color doesn't match, so I don't get to do it. I get to use an A ability, which I will use that one. Oh, he's built a farm. Okay, let's do that. He's built a farm, we'll take a science, but I'm, I'm going to build a farm. So that's that done. And also to take two things. So I'll take a science. And um, see, I thought I was producing a lot of steel plast, but I'm not. So I'll take a steel plast. There we go. Right, uh, we're done. That was round seven. So we're going to the production phase. Let's take these back. I haven't moved them round yet. And I am going to have to place that. So production. Oh, draw a card. Right, so my production is, let's go through it, kelp. I have one, two, three, four kelp farms, one of which is improved. So the improved one gets a point and I get four kelp. Next, desalination plants. I have four desalination plants, which is four money. Two of them are improved, which is two biomatter. Uh, one, two, three, four. Then we have laboratories. I have one, two, three, th three laboratories, which is three science, one of which is upgraded, which is a steel plast. One, two, three. Um, tunnels that are connected to cities. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six money. And one, two, three of them are upgraded, which is three points. I also have this. So one of my desalination plants, instead of a credit, could have produced a science or a kelp. I'll take a science. And also in production, I get four points for this doubled. So yeah, two points doubled. So one, two, three, four. Uh, I also have this, which is a point, which is doubled. So that's another two. And I think that is it for all of my production stuff. Yes, so I have to feed my cities. I have to feed one, two, three, four. I don't have to feed this one. So that's four kelp. Yeah, I have enough. We're fine. And then we go on to the third era. So we get rid of the two cards. We want the era three cards. How many points am I on now? 15 points. Three rounds left. I've got five cities connected. I need two more cities. Biodome gives you two points. Oh, does it?
uh, not the biodome, the, this one, the what's it dome. Yeah, you're right, two points. I should have had that last time then. I, I knew there were two points at the end. Well, no, I thought there were two points at the end of the game, but they're not, are they? They're two points in production. Thank you, Tommy. I, I had forgotten that and I'd forgotten it last time. So yeah, these, um, what are they called? Non uh, symbiotic city, that's it. Symbiotic cities get two extra points. Right, three cards from the era three deck and now I have to discard down to six. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna move these on and I'm gonna choose which space is blocked off, which is one, six, eight. So that's uh, seven, that's 15, 12, 13, 14, 15, which is that one. So that one is blocked off to me. Right, so which of these cards do we wanna keep? If you have at least five connected cities, you may build a desalination plant for free, check. Keeping that, well, definitely keeping that one. Absolutely keeping that one. That's a tunnel for free. Don't want that. Oh, this is at the end of the game. At the end of the game, you may buy points by spending one science and one kelp per point. I'm probably not going to have much kelp left. So I'll get rid of that one. You may build a desalination plant on an expansion uh, on an expansion site. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of that one. Right. So these are the three cards that I'm keeping, and it is my go. Round eight. Off we go. Three rounds left. I'm good to go. What am I doing? Well, I need to be building cities. There are two spaces to build cities. Um, that one and that one. Could build that one, but I might wait to see if I've managed to get an orange card. Do I want to build other stuff? I'm going to have to build tunnels at some point, and I can't build tunnels this turn. Let's hope I can build them next turn. Uh, I do have the credits. So let's take one of these special end game cards, because I think I'm going to have to at some point. So I'm going to go on there with this card. Uh, this card says if you've got at least five connected cities, you get a desalination plant for free. I do have five connected cities, so I get a desalination plant for free, which will go up here. And then this space is an S, and I'm going to choose this one. Because I think this is going to get me, this is, at the moment, this is going to get nine points. And I'm hoping to get more from it. So that's the card I'm going to take. And then at the end of the turn, take another card. Oh, also, that's an orange card. Right, my second go is, boom, down on there, build a city. Uh, and I am going to build a bio, um, a symbiotic one. So that costs me that, 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 and two of these. But I'm going to get a discount on the steel plast because I'm awesome. to build that there. I'm kind of avoiding the middle city and I don't know whether I, pro I should. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing that uh, with that card. So I would have discarded that down at the start of my turn. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I built the city and I've paid for it. Then I get to build one of those things. Well, I don't have any kelp, so I won't be building a kelp farm. Let's build a laboratory, which costs a steel plast. The laboratory is going to go there. There you go. So that city's got all three. Uh, and then the card itself, which cost me three credits. And this just goes into play and will give me scoring at the end of the game. Right now, it's getting me 12 points at the end of the game. So that's pretty good. Draw a card. And then I'm going to choose I might just wait until next turn because then that will go and I can build a city there. Yeah, let's do that. So is there an orange space that I want to use? Well, there is. 
Oh, in fact, I can do this now. I'll go there with this card. First thing I'm going to do is use the action, which is to scavenge the sea floor, which gets me two credits, gets me a card, gets me some kelp. Then I take two resources. I'll take a steel plast and a kelp. Uh, then I get to do this, so I can spend two credits to use and perform the action Oh, in any red slot occupied by another player. Red slot. Do I want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. So I'll pay two credits to use this slot, which is an action. So I'll use that action to build a farm. And the farm's going to go up here. And also to build a tunnel, which is one credit and a steel plast. And the tunnel I'm going to build is there, which gets me a kelp. And then I draw a card. Right, that was round seven. Round, Sorry, that was round eight. Round nine. So my markers come back. I'm not really doing the Federation track at all, so I am losing an action each time, but that's fine. One, four, nine. So what's that? Fifteen. So it's 12 all the way around, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's the city building space. It's not what we wanted. I've got six connected cities. I only need one more connected city, which I can do up there. Um, let's get rid of that. Don't want that one. Right, so start of round nine. I have only green cards in hand, but one of them I definitely want. But look at the green action spaces, they're all used up. Ugh. So I think to play it safe, I need to go there because that will move me two up here and it means that I won't lose an action next turn. Get a credit and I'm playing this card. Construction windfall. If you have at least four connected farms, which I do, build a tunnel for free. I'll build a tunnel for free. There. And then draw a card. It is orange. That's good. Yeah. What are we going to do here? We want to do lots of upgrading. Because I've got the science and upgrading the tunnels is going to get me points. I think that's probably what we want to be doing at this stage because otherwise production at the end of the round, getting lots of extra resources is not going to do anything. 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14. Yes it is, isn't it? The card at all, where was the card? I've lost the card now. Never mind, I've done it now. Let, let, let's pretend it was... Um, Let's pretend it was 15. <laughs> Carted up. Um, yeah, I've just done something different. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to build a city next turn. That's going to be there with that. So that's, that's not next turn, next round. So that's next round's sorted. So this round... I'm not really bothered about this. Once per turn when you advance on the Federation track, gain a steal of pass and a card. I'm not really bothered. Maybe I should just do something that I want to do. Um, now I could build a tunnel here. And that's actually going to get me two points in production. So yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go onto this space here. So that, that goes into play for all it's for all the good it's going to do. That goes into play. Um, but I'm going to get to build two tunnels. So that's two steel plast and two credits. But because I'm building on fancy spaces, I also need to pay one kelp and one science. And I build two rather expensive tunnels, one there and one there. But now I have connected to that metropolis, so that's going to generate me stuff in production as well. Uh, and the city's going to go there, and we're all good. We're all good. Draw a card. It is red. If you have at least three upgraded tunnels adjacent to connected cities, yes, get two points. Fantastic. Are we going to do it? 
Is there a red space that I want to go on? Oh, yes, there is. I mean, these are these are twelve points. These are, these are twelve points to me, and that's going to be six. Yeah, but these are twelve. If you have the most connected laboratories, yeah, which, which I will because it's a solo game. These seem a bit good in a solo game. I don't know whether I, I didn't see anything to say remove them, but they do seem a bit good because it's it's just a guaranteed twelve points. Oh, maybe that's why your goal is now 125. Um, because they're, they're easier to do. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that says remove them. So I might actually go there. Now, I don't have much in the way of money, but let's see how this works out. So I'm going to go there with this card. I get two points because I've got three upgraded tunnels. And I'm going to buy. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're, they're all worth 12. I'm going to buy that one. That goes into my hand. I draw another card, and that is the end of round nine. Okay. And because I went up the Federation track, I don't lose an action next round, which is good. So they move round. We go on to round 10. Did I draw my card? I think I did. Yes. Right. So I have to discard down. Well, I'm clearly keeping that one. And that's absolutely useless. So easy choice. Right. Let's just make sure I have not messed this up. Um, so that's actually two points. That's actually three points. So let's do that one first. So I'm going to go here with this card. And this card is free trade partners for each metropolis connected to your network. Gain a point. I have three connected. So I get three points. And I build a city, and I'm going to build a fancy city. Oh, I haven't got any steel plast. Oh, no, it's fine. I get a discount of one steel plast. Yes. So one of them, one of them, two credits. Oh, I'm going to need some more credits. Yeah. I'm going to need some more credits. That goes on there. That is it for me for city building. Draw a card. Two actions left in the whole game. And I need three credits to play this card. And I need to go in a red space. I think there's only one way I can do this. And that is... Go here. Yeah, I go there. With that. So I'm discarding a card to draw two cards and gain two credits. And then I use those two credits and that one credit to, pr to play my second come end game scoring card. Let's put both of them together. There you go. Right. Uh, I've got four science. I haven't done... I haven't done the stuff that I wanted to do, but it's fine. If I could build another lab, that would get me a bit of stuff. No, no, no. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be going on an orange space. And it's that space I want to go on. So I'll use this, this card. So I'll just throw that one away. Oh, then again. Oh, no. No, it's useless. Right. Last action of the game. Go there. Spend three science. Upgrade three buildings. And it will be three kelp farms. Because I believe that gets me the most points. I mean, I could have upgraded the tunnels, but upgrading a tunnel or a kelp farm is no different. Tommy's got to go. Thank you very much for joining in. You're carrying communicable diseases to South Wales. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah, somebody has to, I guess. Um, yeah, so we're done. Let's do production. So kelp farms. I have one, two, three, four, five kelp farms. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, th four of which are upgraded, so that's four points. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that. We have desalination plants. We have one, two, three, four, five desalination plants, which is five money. Two of which are upgraded. That's two biomatter. Um, yeah, I could do extra stuff with it, but no, nah, don't need to. Um, I 
laboratories. I've got one, two, three, four laboratories, which is four science. One is upgraded. So that gets me a steel plast. One, two, three, four. Tunnels, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tunnels, three of which are upgraded. So three points and ten money. Also in production, I could have changed the output of one of my things, but I didn't want to. And then we've got this. So I get two points for that one. I get four points for that one. And I get uh, two points, a kelp and a science for that one. So that is production done. Feeding my cities. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's already fed, so I need six kelp. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough, although I could have used biomatter if I'd needed it. And now we are in end of game scoring. So metropolises, I don't have any end of game scoring metropolises. End of game scoring cards, I've got this one. So this is three points for each connected city that has one building of each type. I have four such cities, so that's 12 points, and that's 12 points as well, so that's 24. So one and then 63, that's nowhere near. Um, ah, now cities. So I have four cities with all three in, so that's 24. So one, two, uh, seven, 12, 22, 24. I have a city up there with two things in. So that's four points. One, two, three, four. And I have two cities with nothing in, so they're two points each. So that's, that's four. Right, all of my resources convert into coins, apart from biomatter, which converts to two coins. So I'm just going to change that for two. And then every four things, so yeah, these should convert to coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just take a 10 and put two back. Okay, and then every four coins is a point. So I have basically, I've got 24 coins, or I've got 25, so 24 points, 24 coins, is six which is 101 and that is it so i haven't i haven't won oh six points for the biodome thank you very much yes i should have got six points in production for the bio for the um symbiotic domes close but puts me on 107 yeah 107 oh and the camera's just disappeared oh the camera's back again the cable's faulty. I need to I need to sort something out with that. So we are finished. Thank you very much for everybody for joining in. But we failed. It was my first attempt at it. I think I did all right. I was a little rusty on the rules. Had help from people. Uh, and I scored 107, which is not bad, I think. 125 is apparently the, um, the objective. And even if you meet the objective, you can then replay it again. Um, you know, to try and to try and beat your score. So I'd been told that the solo mode of this wasn't actually that great, and I actually quite enjoyed this. I enjoyed it more than, say, Terraforming Mars, which I don't really enjoy the game of Terraforming Mars because you have to play it different than what you normally do. Um, so you, you you don't build cities where you normally do. Whereas this, I felt that I was actually trying to do the same things that I would do when I was actually playing the game properly. Um, and it was good to play. I'd definitely play this solo again. First time using one of these new uh, boards. Uh, not just the, the dual layer bit, but the fact that there are some spaces that cost money and some spaces that give you extra benefits once you've built on there. So that, that was interesting. Yeah, I've not used that before. But there we go. Yes. So, oh, and Linda's here in the chat as well. Definitely worth trying the solo version. So there we go. That is a solo playthrough of Underwater Cities. As mentioned at the start, I've taken time off my paid work this afternoon in order to produce this content so it's all funded through the patreon campaign a huge thank you to all of my patreon supporters a lot of you are watching this before and afterwards um it's your support that essentially makes all of these videos possible so thank you very much for that and if you like the content that i make and you want to see more videos please consider supporting me over at patreon i have two more videos coming later today which are sponsored um i'm doing a tutorial and playthrough of geode which is here so this is a little game uh, we'll take about, oh, I'll put it there. So Geode, this is going to be at 6.30 tonight. I'm hoping it's only going to be a 45 minute game. It's fairly simple. 
Uh, but that's going on Kickstarter in a couple of weeks time. I'm doing that at 6.30 today. And then at eight o'clock tonight, after we've quickly gone downstairs, had dinner and come back upstairs, I'm doing Paris, which I'm super excited about because it's by Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling, who are a design duo that when I started seriously getting into board games in the late 90s, they were designing games then. I have a number of games in my collection which are designed by those two. They're a great partnership. Um, and that, that is happening tonight at eight o'clock as well. That's another game which is going on Kickstarter Monday, I believe. So Game Brew have asked me to do a video for that. And when somebody asked me to do a video of a Kramer Kiesling game, I'm like, yes, please. Thank you very much. So um, yeah, that'll be coming later on. Other than that, if I don't see you later on, have a good day. Look after yourselves with everything that's going on in the world at the moment. I'm going to stay here and play some games and edit some rule books. Um, until later on or next time, take care and thanks very much for watching.